All right, so uh, I'll make this quick, I hope. I gotta get on the road again. I just came out of the truck wash. So this is for my family and friends. Don't know much about trucks or what I'm doing. This is a 99 or 1999 Freightliner uh, Classic. It's not an XL. See, it's got a little wrinkle on the bumper there. And it, uh, the step is missing here. And this guy here and this guy here, but just came out of the washing machine there, the truck wash. This is what's called the APU, it's your generator. Yeah, that's a box of organic uh, <laughs> uh, broccoli. They're throwing it out in the dumpster, we're gonna try it out. Anyway, so it's a sleeper, so it's got a big bunk back here. Stand straight up out of your seat in this, this type of uh, cab. So, Let's see, I'll go inside, show you the inside, then I'll show you the engine. You'll love that. I'm at the Benton Harbor truck uh, truck stop here. So I don't know if it's exit 22, I can't remember. Just had these tanks shined up nicely. Yeah, keep my snow shovel in here, I guess. <clears throat> they got a broom there for sweeping out these trailers. So yeah, this uh, my my grandpa used to drive truck, and my uncle just got done. But if my grandpa could have seen this, he would have been uh, out of his mind. Uh, because, uh, let's see here. Because the truck he drove was nowhere near what this one is, but as far as I'm concerned, I outclass everybody on the, on the truck stop lot, unless there's a classic XL. Uh, <laughs> got water. Anyway, got all my junk in here, but this is the way it's set up in here. You got your gauges up on the dash. These are your brakes, tractor, trailer. You got your uh, suspension lowering. Got, just got the CB working. That doesn't work. This is my setup for you trucker guys. If you got a Columbia, uh, I know this works in a Columbia. This came out of a Columbia. The guy showed me this trick. Piece of PVC connection and it fits right down on the cup holder. And it uh, makes it so it doesn't fall out. Your, your mug doesn't fall out because they're kind of small. Anyway, got my tea in there, my green tea. Maui Jim sunglasses. And uh, another guy showed me this. Oh, it was the same guy. Take your dry erase marker and you can uh, write on your windshield. And uh, you can just erase it real easily. As long as you don't write where the wipers are, they say. Uh, what else we got here? for the toolbox, nothing too interesting. Cleaning bucket over there, tool bag, lunch bag. Oh, refrigerator and freezer. Freezer, fridge. You know, of course, you close your big fancy curtains here when you want to sleep in the bed. Or the, up there, I got my toolbox up here, I guess. Three more shelves up there. Microwave. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, actually, it's, oh yeah, it's still in there. I take that dish out, and then there's a little dresser thing here. I'm thinking about making one if I keep going here and making a bigger one. I can put a put my logs up here and work on them and stand up because I sure do get enough sitting down. That's for sure. Three shelves up here, storage here, there, and there, and open that thing up, and you got kind of like a sunroof. So okay, let's look under the hood. Let me open it up a second and show you all the noise making devices we got. in there so you can turn the fan on when it's when you're backing up or it's too hot power steering reservoir uh, what else you got this is your intake this 
intake manifold comes through. I think it's called the intercooler. This is the intercooler here. It runs down to the turbo. The exhaust comes out and spins the turbo up and blows air into the intake. Turbo charge. That's where I check your oil, alternator, and belt. That's about it. Six cylinder diesel. It's a 60 series. Good old engine. My, uh, my boss has a uh, my boss has a fancy new Freightliner Cascadia and he was just down for two weeks because of the emissions that they put on those newer trucks. Meanwhile, I'm just rolling along in his other old, oldie but goodie here, so making a few pennies here and there for everybody, for all concerned. Anyway, that's the news from uh, Benton Harbor Truck Stop. See you next time. Yeah, if this was a classic XL, it would say classic XL, and it'd be bigger. And there'd be another another foot between about this line here and the back of the fender. There'd be 10 inches at least longer out front. All right, see ya.